far Japan economics Koyama-san um, has rightly called for the end of YCC a bit earlier than others and then his official call for the end of negative interest rate policy is also January so mm. obviously Ueda-san uh, shook things a little bit further uh, now I think market is pricing almost 35-37% probability for them to move in December when most people uh, have already gone to the beaches and the mountains for the, for the old days, a bit like last time, last price. But market is a bit more ready for it. Uh, it affected uh, U.S. treasuries and yields like uh, Jumana walked through. Uh, yesterday, U.S. 10-year was all the way down to 410, mm. 5, 6 basis points higher because of what Japan did, how bad the 30-year auction went. But I think it's, it's temporary. I think for core rates, mm. the direction will continue to be lower, flatter. Mm. And what is your expectation for where broader rates go from here? It sounds like this impact is going to be minimal compared to what's ultimately driving rates. Look, uh, I always like to come to this program, give uh, two camps, two views, and let your viewers choose and maybe give my side as well. Uh, <laughs> That's the big, three. The, uh, three in a row. Hopefully, hopefully three in a row will be right. Soft landing versus uh, recession, hard recession, right? That mm. was the big dilemma of this year, continues to be. And uh, all joking aside, at least hard recession continues to be the new Godot that we're waiting for. <laughs> um, so soft landing is winning. That's the, that's the reason we rallied so much in uh, November. Inflation is falling. Wage inflation is falling, something we were very afraid of, especially uh, in Europe. Health, a little bit of a concern, but overall the, the trend is right. So yeah. maybe after two years it was sort of transitory after all. And for that reason, I think uh, rates will continue to go lower. A lot of uh, clients and friends mm -hmm. were thinking and going for bull steepness, so only short end rallying. I think the pain trade, frustration trade will continue to be if the long end also joins the party. Yeah, so, you know, rate cuts are the theme mm -hmm. for 2024. And when I think about next year, uh, the question is going to be how far are they going to cut? Are they going to cut just to take things, just to take rates back to neutral again, or are they going to cut to make them accommodative again? And that is the key question. And you could say with about 100 basis points priced in more or less for Fed and ECB, mm -hmm. that takes you back to neutral, which is a soft landing situation. So for your view to materialize, does that not necessitate a recession? Um, I completely hear you on the importance of the speed. Uh, I like, you know, we've been here before. I like how aggressive all of a sudden we all got. Uh, mm -hmm. 175 basis points for, uh, for Fed. 150 base mm -hmm. points for, uh, for ECB. Mm -hmm. My great Mark Wald, chief European economist, just yesterday mm -hmm. made some headlines, pulled his uh, cut expectation all the way to April, saying there's a high chance in, in March. Ju, I think uh, they won't be as aggressive, even though Madame Lagarde, just this summer in a Financial Times uh, lunch with FT Weekend interview, said uh, one lesson she got from, from COVID on the high ground, she could have been more aggressive. Uh, so this time around, she may go before mm -hmm. Fed, like mm. the market thinks, but these 150s, 175s, I'm not sure. Yet, I think be, even if that doesn't happen, uh, equities can do all right, at least much better than these 3,900, 4,000 pessimisms. Why? Because they wouldn't be cutting as aggressive for the right reason, because we would be soft landing. And if I'm wrong, if we do fear a uh, harder recession, if uh, these t t harder, uh, faster cuts do materialize, mm. well, maybe we may fall first, 5 percentage in S&P, but markets always like that, uh, that sugar rush, that trade cuts coming, so risk would come back. I mean, the thing is the